What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Friday the 16th of August, got confirmed as to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer upload. And finally, in the comment section below, what's your prediction for this weekend's game between Manchester City and Tottenham? Right, and let's start off with some confirmed deals. And first up, we have Roque Meza. He joined CD Leganes from Sevilla on loan for the whole season and I don't believe there's an option to buy. And when he joined Swansea a few years ago from a La Liga side, um, the previous year in Spain he was actually very good, but since then I'm pretty sure he's failed to live up to them expectations. Then we have got Adil Tarapt, who's a player that back in, I want to say 2011 when he was playing for QPR in the Championship, he was actually unplayable at that point. But since then, his career's definitely gone downhill, uh, but he has now signed a new contract extension at Benfica until 2022. He only recently made his debut for the club, despite signing many, many years ago, has had a few loan spells since then as well. Czech Diop has rejoined Celta Vigo from Lyon on loan this season, as also an option to buy for 9 million euros, as he returned to the club he left in 2017 to go to the French side. Steven Nzonzi has joined Gads Hashray from Roma on loan for this season, and um, the Italian club are paying his full salary to make a deal happen. Nice are interested in signing Inter striker Gabriel Barboza, according to La Ten Sport. The 22 year old is currently on loan with Flamengo in his native Brazil, where he scored 13 goals and 17 appearances in all competitions this season. Inter's asking price for Gabigol is likely to be around 20 million euros, and the French side are very interested. In Europe so far, he's played for Inter Milan and I want to say a loan spell to Benfica and uh, both transfers really didn't like show the best of him. But in Brazil, to be fair to him, last couple of years scored a lot of goals and uh, now might be the right time to make a move to Europe again. And another rumour about Nice this time from Gianluca Damasio, he has said French side Nice have reportedly made a move to bring back Inter's Brazilian defender Dalbert. The 25-year-old joined Nice in 2016 before signing for Inter as one year later. However, he has struggled to get regular first-team football at the San Siro, so maybe potentially they could work out a double deal for Dalbert and Gabigol, both going to the league on side. And next up, according to FR, their son Cenk Tosin is nearing a switch to Eintracht Frankfurt. Negotiations between the player and the club are supposedly now in advanced stages, despite the forward's high wages at Everton. The 28-year-old was born in Germany and came up through Frankfurt's academy, making just one senior appearance before leaving the club. He joined Everton about 18 months ago in the January window, and uh, he did cost them a fair amount of money, and realistically, has he offered them anything at all, and out of Frankfurt, because they have sold Luka Jovic and Haller, it would be a very good opportunity for him to be the main striker. The agent of Arsenal star Meza Erza was in Washington to meet with DC United on Wednesday, according to the Washington Post. The MLS club hoped to land the midfielder as a replacement for Wayne Rooney, who's heading back to England to join Derby this winter. And given the whole situation with Meza Erza and safety reasons right now in London, I'm not sure if that has any effect on a potential transfer, but you would imagine it, that's in the back of his mind a little bit. Like, it's genuinely awful that Kalasnach and Ozil, that they aren't really guaranteed safety right now. They missed out on the Premier League game against Newcastle because of it, and that's just not right in 2019. But in regards to a transfer, obviously DC United will have a designated spot available, and um, Meza Ozil, I mean, he's still a great player. Like, he might be very inconsistent now, but he's still a brilliant footballer in his day, despite having a massive wage. And as I said, they are losing Wayne Rooney, but if the MLS side managed to replace him with Meza Ozil, he's a massive name in world football. And next up, according to the Daily Mail, they're saying Alexis Sanchez is desperate for a way out of Manchester United, and he's ready to quit the club in favour of a return to the Serie A. They report that the Chilean is drawing interest from AC Milan, Napoli and Juventus. He's hoping he can make a return to Italy and find regular first-team football again. And the whole Mkhitaryan swap deal for Alexis Sanchez overall has proven like a massive flop for both teams. Because Sanchez on a crazy high wage and offered nothing to the first team. And Mkhitaryan has had his spells of like good moments. But in general, he's been pretty poor as well. 
Sport are saying that Ajax have opened talks with Dinamo Zagreb for Danny Olmo. They're not willing to pay his 40 million euro release clause. He's also on the radar of Bayern Munich, but as for Bayer Leverkusen, they've withdrawn from the race. He's a player that impressed a lot during the under 21 European Championships this summer and has got a lot of teams chasing him. Alongside the likes of Bayern and Bayer Leverkusen, um, he was into Manchester United briefly. Daniel Sturridge is in talks with Besiktas and Trabzonsport according to Sky Sports. As well as Turkey, Italy and Germany could be possible destinations for his next switch, with Atalanta and Eintracht Frankfurt reportedly making contact to sign the 29 year old. Apparently he's been offered 3 million euros per year to join a Turkish side, um, but still he might choose to go to Atalanta who can offer Champions League football this season. Build are saying that Bayern Munich could revive their interest in Manchester City and German star Leroy Sané, that's despite the 23 year old suffering a serious knee injury. The injury itself is set to keep him out for up to 7 months, but that's not putting the German champions off. Now whether they're saying this, I'm not sure if they're suggesting the deal could still happen between now and deadline day. I would personally be very surprised, like they might wait until next summer or maybe like test things out again in January. And now we have a follow up story from one I mentioned yesterday about Luka Jovic and his future at Real Madrid. So Bild are saying Luka Jovic will not be sent out on loan from Real Madrid, that's despite recent reports. The forward signed for the Spanish Giants this summer but is already out of favour as Zidane is not impressed. And there were rumours suggesting he could be going back to Frankfurt on a loan deal but it won't be happening. Soccer Link are saying that Real Madrid boss Zinedine Zidane spoke with Sadio Mane earlier this summer as about a possible move from Liverpool to Real Madrid. The outlet claims that after his phone conversation, Mane has been left convinced about moving to Los Blancos. However, the Real Madrid president Florentino Perez is totally unconvinced. The reason for that is because they've already brought in Rodrigo and Eden Hazard. He doesn't feel like they need another left-sided player. But from Liverpool's point of view, there is absolutely no intention of wanting to sell one of their key players and it's a room that popped up this time last year as well. And now we have a few interesting stories regarding Neymar's future at Paris Saint-Germain and in particular a move to Real Madrid. So the first story is from AS. They're saying Paris Saint-Germain requested Vinicius Jr as part of a deal for Neymar, but Real Madrid, they immediately rejected the proposal. Vinicius' name was brought up twice more as part of negotiations between the two sides, but the Spanish club refuses to include him as part of any deal. Aside from Vinicius, PSG are also keen on adding Luka Modric and Casemiro to any Neymar offer, and that part is according to Marca. And it does seem the two clubs are very much at a stalemate right now because PSG are not keen on the players Real Madrid have offered so far. Those two players are James Rodriguez and Gareth Bale. And the report also says that PSG see Vinicius Jr as a, an anti Neymar and what they mean by that is that he's good on the pitch but off the pitch he won't cause any trouble. And since Neymar made the switch to PSG, a lot of the stories haven't been about PSG as a club, they're most of the time just about Neymar as an individual. And finally the article does say that if PSG had a choice or a favourite to sell Neymar to, it would be Real Madrid over Barcelona. Virtual International and Tuto Mercato are both saying that PSV forward Herving Lozano, he is finally free to sign for Napoli after a 42 million euro deal was worked out. The player and the clubs are now in total agreement over the transfer and a medical is not expected to take place until next week on Monday or Tuesday. And there are apparently two reasons for that. The first one from Virtual International is that PSV has still got workouts and details with Lozano's former club Pachuca. Tuta Mercato though, they're referencing the image rights yet again. But those details should be all worked out next week and this means that Verdi is now likely to join Torino. And other reports in Italy are saying that Napoli have rejected a 55 million euro bid from Atletico Madrid for midfielder Allen. It's not the first time they rejected a big money offer for Allen either because back in January, Paris Saint-Germain were very interested. And talking about PSG, according to Tuto Mercato, they're saying PSG are in talks for Inter striker Mauro Icardi, that's to replace La Liga bound Neymar. He's finally accepted he's not in Inter Milan's plans for next season or in the future, but he's still not prepared to join either Roma or Napoli. He was holding out for Juve, but Inter don't want to strengthen a rival, and any potential deal to PSG fully relies on Neymar going back to either Barca or joining Real Madrid. And finally, Portuguese media claim that Milan are in negotiations for sporting midfielder Bruno Fernandes, but a 70 million euro deal seems unlikely. 
Sporting were hoping to sell the former Sampdoria man to Manchester United or Tottenham, but the Premier League transfer window is now shut. According to Ojogo, Sporting want a cash sum of 70 million euros. For Ebola, they suggest that AC Milan could offer 30 million plus Andre Silva and Samu Castillejo, or 40 mil and just Andre Silva. But for Sporting, they're currently holding out to see what happens. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it's a new transfer episode. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.